So as you can see, this is a specimen paper. Um, this is likely to uh, represent what the first section of the skill acquisition in psychology might look like. Um, it's quick fire answers. Let's have a look. Number one, using a practical example, describe what is meant by an open skill in a physical activity. Now, it's important that you always notice that there are two marks available um, for the questions on each of these. Um, of course, it could be a one marker or maybe a three marker, but make sure you check that and that should influence what you actually write. Um, so here's my answer for this one. Um, an open skill is one with constant reference to the environment and variable movement patterns uh, that respond to that change in environment. Um, an example would be a return of serve in tennis. Um, you are unlikely to get any marks unless you've included a specific practical example. Of course, tennis would not be a practical example. That's just the name of a sport because you're not being specific there about the actual skill. Okay, number two, um, give a practical example. Describe how a skill is developed using the progressive part method of practice. So I must include a practical example explaining how the progressive part method works. Um, so here's my answer. When learning the high jump, so there's a practical example. I'll go into a bit more detail now. The athlete might start with the run-up, which would be the first part of the skill. Then the run-up and takeoff. Uh, which is two parts of the skill in chronological order, and then the run-up, takeoff, and flight. And of course, you could talk about the, the landing as well and, and the movement over the bar. Um, progressive part practice develops skills in order of production um, to aid the sequencing of that skill. Okay, so certainly two marks available there. Uh, you must make sure you mention develop skills in order of production to aid sequencing, um, and you must make sure that you've used your practical example and make sure that it's an effective practical example with the skill that you've practiced um, in that progressive part method. Okay, straightforward question here. These are all straightforward questions, but people often only mention one thing that would appear on the mark, on the mark scheme instead of the two. So why is selective attention important when learning motor skills? So I've just identified here, selective attention is the process by which irrelevant information sometimes known as noise, is discarded so that the performer can focus on relevant information, um, and this would be in their short-term memory, in order to produce an effective response. Uh, no practical example required there, but certainly a couple of bits of information to let the performer know what selective attention is. You could also use, um, this enables the performer to perceive uh, the situation to make an effective decision, or something along those lines. Okay, describe a type A personality. Now, we don't have to mention a type B, but you could in terms of how it differs. But to be honest, I wouldn't bother because the question's saying, what's a type A personality? And we need at least two characteristics. Um, so I've put a few more in. Um, type A personalities are ambitious. They actively seek challenge. They can become aggressive in pursuit of their goals. And they're very competitive. But on the flip side, they can also suffer from anxiety and are susceptible to stress. Question five, what defines a group as opposed to just a collection of individuals? So again, we need at least two characteristics um, of the group. So here's my answer. Ooh, it's fired up there. For some reason, I shall drop it back down. Okay, here it is. A group such as a sport team would have a shared identity. They would have mutual awareness. They would have interaction and communication between the members. And they would share a common goal. I've just thrown a practical example in there to help illustrate my answer. Won't necessarily get an extra mark in this, but it helps to secure um, the marker's belief in my understanding. And I've said it's just such as winning football matches. You could, of course, have winning a cup competition or winning the league, uh, which might be the shared goal. 